Hey Huns, welcome back to my channel. Let's catch up. Hi Huns, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Emma. You are so welcome here. Right, gals, this video is something that's been rattling around the last two brain cells in my... My name is Kendall. Brain? This video is literally the reason that God made me bisexual. This video is for Harvey Milk, Gleeks, and Star Kids only. <laughs> On my last couple videos, a lot of people were telling me to rank Glee characters. Now, I would love to do that. Mike's Mike has a great video doing that, and I basically agree with all of his opinions anyway, so I'm not gonna repeat it. But I was like, what if I just did something so stupid? So this is Harry Potter, if it was Glee. And you might think this is maybe like a stupid idea. You would be correct. But there's some parallels. I was like, oh, who would be da 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 da? Who would be da 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 da? But then I was like, wait a second. I was like, no. Th How could I forget this very, very, very important piece of information? A Harry Potter musical. Let's get straight in with the first character, and that's Harry Potter. And who's that going to be played by? Blaine, obviously, because Darren Chris is. I'm Harry freaking Potter! You heard it here first. If you haven't seen a Harry Potter musical, congratulations, you're hetero, but we can't all be like you, okay? So, I just got my laptop in front of me, so let's just go through these. This is so stupid. Let's just have fun! We're all gonna have fun! So obviously, Blaine plays Harry Potter. Love it, there's no question about it. Let's go through the big three. Ron Weasley, you guessed it, Finn. Finn is Ron Weasley, I just thought it would be fun. Finn provides so much comic value, and I feel like if Ron Weasley was plopped into William McKinley High School as an American football player, it'd be pretty similar to Finn, right? Also, only Ron Weasley would believe that he got his girlfriend pregnant by being in a hot tub, so. You know. And then we have Hermione, and this one you guys already know has to be played by Rachel Berry. And I was kind of like, is it too obvious? Because there's a lot of elements of Hermione, like where she really campaigns for the rights of house elves, that I Rachel just would not care about that. They're both go-getters, driven, strong, passionate women. All the uptight parts of Hermione, I feel like Rachel shares. We have Draco. Now, I chose, hear me out on this one, I chose Draco to be played by none other than Miss Becky. Draco can definitely be played by a female character a la A Very Potter Musical. Remember when Becky was going to shoot up the school but then she didn't? Emma, that is not the exact storyline, but bear with me guys for the sake of this stupid, stupid, stupid analogy. Think about in The Half-Blood Prince when Draco was supposed to kill Dumbledore and he didn't. There was like that real always battle between you know, following like your evil leader a la Becky and Sue and like your inner moral compass but also being savage as f Draco, Becky. I was like, that's the perfect pick, honestly. And that brings us to Sue. And I chose Sue Sylvester to play the role of Professor Snape. That was like a clear no-brainer for me. And Snape lost someone, Lily. And Sue lost someone and that was her sister Jean. And the way that Sue cared for Becky is kind of the way Snape actually cared for Harry after losing someone. You know what I mean? Bad to the bone, but also a softy at heart. Always. And then that brings us to Mr. Shu. Now, Mr. Shu, there was no, honestly, no choice for me to cast Mr. Shu as anyone except Gilderoy Lockhart. Just a fool. You know what I mean? Just a total fool, riding off the success of other people. Mr. Shu would totally follow the kids to the Chamber of Secrets and then try and act like he discovered it. And then we get to Professor McGonagall. So this one was hard because there's not actually a lot of older female characters or older characters in Glee in general, which I will touch on in a bit, but I thought there's this has got to be someone with pure witch energy and who better than Rachel's mom, Shelby, played by Adina Menzel, who was the original Alphaba in the cast of Wicked on Broadway, so I just thought that was perfect. No, she's not quite as old as McGonagall in the books, but they can age her up and she is that witch. And then these are all in the most random order, by the way, as they came out of my stupid, stupid little mind. Seamus, Played by Rory, because duh. This one I'm kind of like, <laughs> Neville played by Kurt. Again, hear me out. So if you're a big Harry Potter fan, you know that there's a lot of parallels between Neville and Harry, a la Neville could have been the chosen one had Voldemort not just killed his parents first. And I feel like there's a lot of fun parallels now between Kurt and Blaine. Kurt first met Blaine, Blaine was like his hero, besides the fact that he had a crush on him. He went to Dalton Academy and he saw the Warblers and he was like, oh my god, like, this could have been my life, but it wasn't. 
and Kurt had to go somewhere. So I feel like Neville's kind of uptight. Kurt, as we know, is uptight. Kurt's my favorite character, by the way, don't get it twisted. So I just feel like that could work and I was not about to leave out Miss Kurt, okay? Let's take it to book four, movie four, Goblet of Fire, Realness. Lavender Brown, if you don't remember, that's the girl that Ron gets with and then Hermione is so pissed. And that I had played by the icon, Brittany S. Pierce, okay? So first of all, there's the dimension of Brittany is always getting with guys and Santana's pissed, but also like Lavender Brown was crazy. She would just like say weird stuff, speak in a weird voice. She was a weird girl and Brittany S. Pierce, the icon she is, is such a lovable weirdo. This is the hard part, okay? I was like, who is iconic enough for Santana to be in the Harry Potter universe, okay? I was like, there's no one iconic enough for Santana to play. Honestly, there isn't, except there could be. Who do Harry and Ron take to the Yule Ball? The Patel twins. Santana could play both, okay? A la Army Hammer in the social network. Love that. No one's iconic enough on their own, and they were both bad bitches, okay? They were so fun, so sassy, and stunning. And next we've got Victor Crumb, which is the Durmstrang champion in the Triwizard Tournament. For any of you guys that maybe thought like I was just gonna be pulling this out of my ass, no. I'm a diehard Harry Potter fan. Here I am as an adult, still referencing Harry Potter, and now combining it with Glee, and I would feel bad about it, but you're the one that's watching, so clearly it's fine. Choices. I had that to be played by Puck, because I know Puck and Rachel do have a mini romance as well, but it's just not meant to be, a la Hermione and Victor Crumb. Also, Puck is like rough around the edges, you know. And then we have Fleur Delacour. She's stunning, she's perfect, she's sassy, she's strong, stronger than she looks, smarter than she thinks, love it. And that's gonna be played by Miss Quinn, my other fave, everyone's my fave. But I wanted to add in a little bonus, and do you remember her little sis that Harry actually saved in that challenge? Challenge. Where he pulls her out of the water, and I just thought like a fun little hats off would be to have Kitty play her, because she is like a mini Quinn, except a lot more evil. I just love the parallels and like the new Quinn. Love it. And now we have Professor Trelawney. There's a lot of characters, Harry Potter characters that I miss that I was just like, this is enough. Like my brain is already going to much like I can't entertain this anymore. Obviously played by Terry, who has a hysterical pregnancy. Like just love it. And then we have Cedric Diggory. I was like, hmm, maybe Sam should play Cedric Diggory. Hmm, maybe Finn should play Cedric Diggory. But then I was like, hang on just one second. There's someone else that we are missing here, okay? That's Mike Chang. Mike Chang would be the perfect Cedric Diggory. He's smart, kind, just like golden boy, like very Hufflepuff. On like the flip side of that, we have Cho Chang. Now, don't even get me started on how problematic it is. JK Rowling in general, okay, we know. We know. Miss Jo, the only Asian character that JK Rowling had in the series was called Cho Chang. Like, don't even get me started. But also, I wasn't gonna leave out Miss Tina Cohen Chang, okay? Her and Mike Chang, Cedric and Cho, Miss Tina deserves her time to shine. She does deserve to go to the Yule Ball with Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory, so. And then we have the only other Weasley that I've included is Ginny. And I thought that Ginny could be played by Marley. So my main thinking behind this is Marley and Ginny are both very impressionable. Remember when Marley got convinced that she was gaining weight and was like totally led to be bulimic by Kitty, which was beyond and then obviously Ginny was totally convinced by Tom Riddle to like do all these crazy stuff strangle chickens and ended up in the chamber of secrets and I was like pretty impressionable young gorgeous seems like a good fit I could not cast Dumbledore I literally sat I was on the Wikipedia page and looked at every single Glee character of all time ever I couldn't pick a Dumbledore. I just couldn't, like there was literally no one. I sure as hell wasn't gonna make Principal Figgins Dumbledore because that just didn't seem like the right fit. Let me know below if there's anyone you guys think could play Dumbledore because I'm racking my brain here. But lastly, we have Voldemort. And I wanted Voldemort to be played by Sebastian because Sebastian I thought could play a really good Tom Riddle and also Voldemort. And like, you know, like when him and Harry have like those connecting that's like Sebastian with that rock slushy and Blaine's eye, you know? Do you feel as stupid as I do having watched this whole video? If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and know that I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Bye, huns.